Today we are going to have a look at the brand new G Suite Sites and how your students can utilize this amazing tool to create portfolios and easily create their very own website. Welcome to another Flipped Classroom Tutorials. Right, first of all you'll have to open the Google Sites. Now the way to do this is very straightforward. You can either surf to the URL sites.google.com or you open sites from within your app drawer. Let's go ahead and open sites and I'm going to click on new Google sites. As you can see this is now going to send me to the new Google sites. I'm going to get started and I'm going to create my very first website by simply clicking on the plus symbol. Now once you've done that it's going to pull up your creator. This is your creator space and we're just going to skip this tour for now because we are going to walk you through this. First of all you'll want to title your site. So I'm going to call this a demo student portfolio and my title will be my name demo student. Now you have four types of text. You will have your normal text, title text, a heading and a subheading. As it stands now it is not yet possible to change the fonts used in your website. Let's have a quick look at the preview of this website and as you can see it has a very clean sleek look. We can also preview this website by clicking on the tablet version and the mobile version. And As you can see the websites created within the new Google Sites are fully responsive. Let's carry on. We can now scroll down and as you can see when moving the cursor around my workspace different areas get highlighted. So I'm going to now edit some text and I'm going to say welcome to my very first website. I appreciate your visit and hope you love Google Sites as much as I do. I want to add a little bit of my own personal flair to this so I'm going to click on the paintbrush and I'm going to select a emphasis. Now the two different emphasis you have is emphasis 1 which is simply going to highlight the back in that beautiful material design or I can go with emphasis 2 and I get the color scheme. Now the way that this works is everything is linked to your main theme and your main theme can be found in the top right corner. This is where you click on themes. I have selected a simple theme. Now you also have many different types of themes and these will allow you to create a unique and original portfolio. So let's go with level and with green. I'm going to continue adding little details to this so let's say that I now want to have a header type and I'm going to change my header type into a large banner rather than a regular banner so let's change that to a large banner there we go okay that looks very good and I'm now going to insert a new element now as you can see we have a text box images an embed URL and we can even upload files. Now all of this is linked directly to our Google Drive and we can even link to a Drive folder, a YouTube video or embed a map. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert an image. So let's click on image. It's now going to ask me where do you want this image to come from and I'm going to do a quick search and I'll say let's search for a tech image. There we go and let's just pick any of these images at random. There we go. Select. And this image is now being inserted into my web page. I can move this around and as you can see it snaps into position which makes m creating a website very very easy for your students. And while I hold this image you will notice that there are guidelines that will help me to scale where I want my image to go. So let's say I want it in the center I can even enlarge this image slightly so let's just make this a bit bigger and let's move it back to the middle 
there we go now let's have a look at our website let's click on the little eye and we will see the preview of our website this is what a website looks like on a desktop a very beautiful material design website I can have a look at the tablet version as you can see fully responsive and then we have the mobile version now you can see that the image has been scaled down to fit onto mobile okay you can continue to add more and more elements now you also will have noticed that there is a pages option now let's go ahead and click on page and let's add a second page to our website now this page will be a contact page so contact me let's click on done and we now have a second page as you can see at the top we have home and contact me you can add as many pages as you want but it would be good to limit this number so that your students create a very clean and crispy website now this contact me I'm going to keep the header type maybe a small banner rather than that large big banner there we go contact me and instead of having lots of images I am going to insert a form so let's scroll down in our insert menu and let's go ahead and insert a form one small note is you do have to create the form prior to inserting it so I've created a quick blank quiz which is basically an empty form and I haven't done anything to it so I'm going to select this blank quiz I'm going to click on it there we go it is being inserted into my website I can now scale the form so let's say that I want my form to be larger I want it big enough for everyone to read and there we go this looks good let's have a preview we are now on our mobile view and as you can see everything is loading the form loads again it's been scaled down to fit onto a mobile device and up here I can select my home page this is what our website will look like on a mobile device everything is very clean and professional let's have a look at the tablet version we have home contact me when I select contact me I get that smaller banner contact me the form will load and you'll see as soon as the form has loaded I can fill out the form right from within the website or I have the option of opening it in a new tab and the same goes for the desktop version we have home and contact me now this was just the very first look at the new Google Sites from G Suite. I hope that you explore this together with your students and if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below. If you like this video and if you found it helpful please give it a thumbs up and you can find lots more videos and blog posts on our brand new website eduflip.net. I hope to speak to you again soon and we will see each other in the next tutorial.